Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Taurus. Welcome back, Bulls. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all is well, Taurus. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Taurus, as it takes care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages your higher self has for you at this time here, Taurus. Okay, we already have a message wanting to come out. We're going to see what your higher self wants to inform you for this week here. All right, and shout out to the Evolving Spirit. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you all. I thank you all so much. If you would love to become a Evolving Spirit like I myself, please click that join link down below, loves. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and your love live stream questions, my loves, when I go live tours, all right? So when we're done here, we're gonna dive into your person's energy as well and see how they feel towards you what's the potential outcome for you to all right Taurus, and then we'll finish up with some word advice from your guardian angels and ancestors all right so let's see what we have here boom we have the knight of water here Taurus. all right so this is a little knight shining armor coming in here for you or someone that is in their emotions and their feelings here with all of this water here Okay, some of you are this person here, Taurus, could be a water sign here. Okay, this could be a Count Siren, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. All right, a lot of water here, okay? They could have a lot of water placements in their chart here, or just in their emotions here, okay? The Knight of Water here, this is the Knight of Cups here in the traditional tarot deck. This card talks about romantic, all right, being emotional, all right, at this time here, okay? So this card tells me in regards to your higher self here, Taurus, that falling in love or wedding proposal is around the corner here. All right. Ooh. So the need to balance your emotions. OK, so this is a time here that your higher self here, Taurus, today is telling you to balance yourself. Know how to balance your emotions and your feelings and your thought. OK, know how to control them at a certain time. When you're in a certain place or environment here, learn how to control your emotions. Taint that bull, honey. Okay, it says an invitation to a social event here. Wow. So you're going to be getting some type of invitation here to a social event. This is where I feel like your emotions here may be released here or you may be meeting someone here. Okay, at this particular social event here or this social event is going to be very important to you during this time. This can occur for some of you all sometime this week sometime this month or even sometime this year here where i feel like this event here is going to occur yes we have tours all right falling all off here okay so some of you all might be falling all off or this person will have you falling all off or you might be falling all off into love because it literally says falling okay falling in love all right so who 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 some of y'all may be falling in love some of y'all already may have fallen in love with this person here or you're going to be falling in love here before this cycle here this year closes out for some of you all here all right wow Taurus. so let's dive into your person energy there there are some messages again from your higher self shout out to your higher self definitely hit that like button subscribe my loves if you're new here welcome welcome to family all right so let's dive into your person's energy let's see how your person feels towards you here all right and then we're going to see how you feel towards this person and what is the potential outcome here towards what do we have for source for sun moon rising venus north and south node for taurus placements show me taurus person's energy here how does taurus person feel at this time show me taurus person energy here <clears throat> let's see your taurus let's see what we have for you here I just want to make sure to put it where you guys can see it here. This is your person's energy here at the top, Taurus. This is your energy here at the bottom and how you feel towards this connection here. And this is a potential mutual energy between you two here. This could be the possibilities of challenges here in regards to this connection. And let's see what the overall energy here. We have the moon cards here at the bottom of the deck here again. Here's set water energy again here. Okay, some of y'all, again, this person could be a Pisces here or a Count Syrian. 
okay, with the moon card here or Scorpio, okay? This person is really much in their emotions at this time here, okay? This is what you don't expect coming here. So there is some hidden information. This person may have hidden feelings about you and not, you know, telling you about the way how they feel about you or keeping this to themselves here, Taurus, okay? You have someone here that is, you know, unexpectedly here, okay, maybe telling you something or just giving you more of a feel of clarity here in regards to this situation and how they feel towards you here, Taurus, okay? And some of y'all, this is definitely coming heavenly from a water sign here, okay? So let's see how this person feels towards you. Wow, again, the chariot counts Siren energy again. Okay, Count Siren energy is very significant. You guys, this person may be a counselor sign here, literally, or you may have some counselor placements in your chart tours, okay? But this talks about moving forward to your understanding duality, okay? Understanding, you know, right is right, wrong is wrong, okay? Understanding your higher self and your lower self at this time here, and now understanding how to balance that in regards to what you want here. So this is how this person view you, okay? This person view you. You might have to travel toward this person. This person plans on traveling towards you, all right? But this particular person here is moving forward towards, you know, things that are going to be more on the frequency of vibration of where they're at, where they've grown and evolved to here, okay? And this person sees this, I feel like, in you as well here towards, wow, yes, being very adventurous right now. Some of you on this person may be a fire sign here. Okay, they got you all adventurous here, honey. Okay, this could be a Sagittarius here, a Leo or an Aries here. Okay, this person is very outgoing, very compassionate, passionate here. Okay, you love this about this person that they love, you know, taking these steps to be themselves here. Okay, and, you know, knowing how to be very creative here. Okay, so there's definitely some action being taken here or you see this person allow you to be able to take action here in regards to a situation. We have the hard fun. This is your energy here, Taurus. Okay, this is being that spiritual teacher here. Okay, these are learning those spiritual lessons here, ways to become a better version of yourself. Understanding, you know, the decisions you made from your lower self versus the decisions you're making here now in your higher self. And now you're being able to balance that. Look at a reflection of yourself here as well. I feel like you all are doing here, okay? Wow, this person is definitely seeing a lot in you, okay? And that's because I feel like this person is in on your same frequency and vibration and want the same desires here as it is that you want. So let's see how you feel towards, towards this person here. Wow, we have the Nine of Cups. You see this person as wish for fulfillment here, okay? You see this person as someone allowing you to go towards your soul purpose here and allowing you to go towards, you know, what it is that you want to manifest for yourself. This person is very much motivating you and giving you some enlightenment here, I feel, as well, Taurus. Ooh, now we have the Five of Swords here, air energy here, okay? Some of y'all, this could be Aquarius here, a Gemini or a Libra here. Someone that caused a lot of conflicts, disappointments, arguments, you know, just drama. Wasn't in a very balanced energy here, okay? Definitely working from their lower space and, you know, responding, treating you from their lower selves, not showing any love or emotions here, okay? Very cold, standish office energy here. This could be an X here for you all here towards that could be an earth sign or a air sign here I'm picking up, all right? But this is someone that either this is someone that may have taught you these lessons or tours that you experience here with could have been a fire or water sign here. OK, or again, this is someone that was an ex of yours. OK. And yeah, we have the three of cups here. This energy talks about reconciling here as well. So someone here may want to reconcile with you as well. OK, someone that possibly may have placed you in a third party situation here. Or have multiple options here and wasn't being honest with you in regards to this situation here, okay? Let's see what the mutual energy here is. Yes, the Hermit card going within here, okay? Recognizing these patterns here that you may have find yourself coming across each in time when you may meet someone new or when you're just going through a different situation, same situation, but there's different people, right, that are attached to it, okay, seeing the patterns and things, and now you're going within here. I feel like this is both what you both are doing here, okay? This is the mutual energy between you two. Some of you are, this person could be a Virgo Taurus, okay? But definitely going within here, doing a lot of healing here, okay? Doing a lot of soul searching here, 
as well. Let's see what the obstacles or challenges here is putting the burdens down here, Taurus. Okay, finding ways to put the burdens down from people, places, and situations here. Okay, Taurus, that no longer resonate with your spirit and your higher self. Okay, and I feel like this is the same for your person. Your person may be the one that has to provide. Okay. Or that does all the providing here, mainly for the household, the family here. Okay, and this is something that you both feel like just either taking up on your partner or your ex-partner here. Burton's as well became a, you know, a heavy load for you. So this is something that you both have had a challenge at with putting all these ones down. All right. And just, you know, allowing this weight to be lifted off your shoulders just because of, you know, how you cared for these people. But now finding out and understanding that. You know, it wasn't a give and even take energy there. So that could be the possibly as far as outcome, okay, as far as the challenges between you two. So as long as you both are going within, all right, you know, projecting any energies and, you know, checking yourself and seeing why these energies or people or feelings here are triggering you to allow you to easily be able to easily more put these ones down here, okay? Wow, yeah, because that could be the burden here. You're not wanting to take on anyone else's burdens, right, with having to do and handle with your own that you've learned and experienced here in your past, okay? Wow, so there's definitely potential here between you two. There just has to be definitely communication here and, you know, definitely understanding that you both have had some cycles here that you had to learn lessons through people's situations here, Okay. And, you know, because there's a lot of holding guard up here, okay? A lot of secrets are just not expressing your feelings towards each other here as you can, okay, right? But you two been through things that kind of have your guard up at some times here, right? We have the Divine Feminine here, the Queen here. I wanted to pull the Raw Tarot deck here to see because I don't feel like there is as much communication between you two to see how this person feels towards you. All right, definitely again, if the reading is resonating with your spirit and your higher self, all right, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, loves. All right, we have, I'm not leaving you, okay? I meant to put I'm, but however here, this person is not leaving you, okay? They are, do not want to leave you. So this could be an ex here for some of you all that does not want to leave. They do not want to leave the divine feminine here. They see you as a divine feminine energy here. They see you being in that inference energy of yours here, Taurus, okay? And this person doesn't want to leave. I thought like this person knows that you're ready to move forward to That could be the energy as well with that chariot card. This person sees that you're moving forward to okay? This is someone that, like I said, this could be an ex here who you definitely loved and had feelings towards here. But, you know, this person wasn't on that frequency and vibration of, you know, working with themselves and realizing, you know, what the... The issue here is in regards to not only your energy, but their energy as well. So it's not allowing the relationship here or the connection to work between you two here. All right. Yes, we have. I don't want to pull out yet. Wow. OK, so this person is someone, OK, that's used to being around you, used to being in your energy here. Someone that you wake up with day to day. This could be your ex here, your ex spouse here. OK, your ex lover here, but someone that you have built a relationship here with. For quite some time now here towards okay and they definitely miss you okay they still see you as the queen or the king here okay and they don't want to leave all right some of you are this person could be a leo here leo could be very significant there all right so let's get you some word advice here as we close out your spread here yeah i can't make this up i don't want nobody else okay this person doesn't want anybody else but you <laughs> Okay, so wow, Taurus. So let's dive in here. Let's get you some word of advice from your guardian angels and your ancestors as we close out your reading here today. Again, definitely if the reading has resonated, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I am available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information, Taurus, is down below in the description box, my loves. So let's get you some word of advice here. We have communication is key. All right, new moon in Gemini here. Some of y'all, this person could be a Gemini here, Taurus, or you're needing to communicate clearly, utilizing that Gemini energy by that ruler planet Mercury that rules communication. I feel like you guys are needing to address the way how you feel, okay? We have all this blue here. There's no significance in how you found this video, and we're working on the color blue this week, which works on speaking and working on our throat chakra, right? 
wearing the color blue, eating blueberries, things to amplify and get that chakra to spin in there, honey, because definitely some things are need to be expressed and said here, okay? And the only way that this is going to have a potential outcome, I feel like for the both of you all, is if there is some communication going here, okay? It needs to be communication here. Yes, and we also have your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus. Wow, this is your energy. Look at that bull there, honey. Yes, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus, okay? So definitely whatever this is as well that you're wanting to manifest here for others of you all when we come to your career and your finances, know that you have a great idea, you have a great plan. It just needs to be organized, put together, goals set in place for it. What is the potential goals when this will be established during this month in this year? Get more practical with this plan and ideal and dream that you have so you can bring it to fruition here, okay? Wow, Taurus, beautiful spread here. Again, definitely if the reading has resonated, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And definitely if you have enjoyed the energies, click that join link down below. Again, it provides you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and even your love live stream questions when you join the Soul Tribe. We have our own private community where I do post daily content there as well, Taurus, all right? So definitely come on over to the other side and yes, evolve with us, all right? And definitely make sure to have a practical plan, all right? Get your ducks in a row, get ready to manifest, my loves, all right? I feel like it's your season coming here, honey, all right? So make it beautiful, make it magical, Taurus, all right? I love you guys so much. You take care, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.